and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be explaining why I decided to quit Goldman Sachs and why other people might leave the firm and where we can go after leaving the firm. So why did I decide to leave the firm? As you guys could have guessed, I decided to leave the firm because I am trying to be a YouTuber. Da, I'm just kidding. But the actual reason why I decided to leave the firm is because I wanted to pivot my career to get into the quantitative finance field. And people who are in the quantitative finance field already has master's or PhD degrees. And I definitely knew that I have a lot to learn more. So I decided to apply for master's program. And you might be wondering why didn't I get my master's degree in the first place before Goldman right after I graduated from college. And the reason is because I didn't know that I wanted to get into quantitative finance until I started working at Goldman Sachs. I was always interested in data analytics as I did econ and math as my major in undergrad. I had several internships as a data analyst or business analyst. So I knew that I liked analytical roles and wanted to learn more about it. So my original plan was to work at Goldman Sachs for several years gain more analytical experience, and move into different industry. However, that all changed when I actually started working. I ended up loving the industry. I love the people that I work with. I got super interested at all these different derivatives products that I deal with. So I wanted to learn more. And I came across financial engineering program, which is a perfect combination of finance, math and stat, and computer science. So that's when I decided to apply for the master's program. I'll make a separate video on exactly what I want to do within quantitative finance. But long story short on why I decided to quit Goldman is because I wanted to pivot my career a little bit to get into quantitative finance field. So that's the reason why I decided to quit Goldman, but other people might have different reasons, right? So what are the other reasons that people quit Goldman Sachs? So there are many reasons why people leave Goldman Sachs. Um, where to start? I'm just kidding. I actually have a way shorter list. And the first on the list is work hours. As I mentioned in another video, everyone and every team has different work hours. But generally speaking, people working in the financial industry might work longer hours. And those hour working hours could get intense. Most of the people eat lunch at the desk while they're working and often dinner too. So a lot of people work crazy hours. So some people could get tired of those long hours and not having life outside of work. And the second reason is compensation. Your compensation do go up every time you get promoted or every year or so. But generally, I saw a bigger raise when people moved to another company. For example, one of my colleagues got about 10% raise by getting promoted within GS, but that person decided to leave their firm and got a new opportunity. And that raise was about 30%. And I'm not saying that every time you leave the firm, you're going to get 30% raise, but you could definitely negotiate your salary when you're leaving the firm. And you can use Goldman Sachs name to bump up your salary. Or if you're living in a different location, you can ask for a relocation fee to bump it up even more. The third reason is title. Um, for Goldman, they have more strict role when it comes to promotions. So to become a VP, you have to have at least five and a half years of work experience, no matter how good you are. And even if you are performing the roles that VP is supposed to do. So some people decide to leave the firm to get the title so that they don't have to wait for that long. Or it could be more political things. If there are several VPs that's more senior than you, then you might have less opportunities to get the title since it's already at a cap. And the last reason that I can think of is just any growth opportunity. I would say I fall under that category because I saw the growth opportunity by going into a master's degree or some other people might find a growth opportunity from another company. All right, so now, whatever reasons that someone might have, they want to leave the firm or their team. So what now? 
So either you can stay at Goldman Sachs but move to another team or you can move externally to another company. And if you're going externally, you can either stay within the financial industry or change your industry. And I commonly saw people in my age trying to move to the tech industry. So if you want to stay within the financial service industry, you can either stay on the sell side or go to the buy side. So like private equity or venture capital, asset management and so on. And if someone wants to leave the industry, so for example, they want to go into the tech industry. I saw people doing court finance, biz ops, business development, or strategy and ops. So pretty diverse. That's everything that I have for today. Thank you for listening to why I decided to quit Goldman Sachs. And if you're curious to know what my life would be at Cornell University, please subscribe. Thank you.